So this is the Akai APC Mini. Uh, what I want to demonstrate is uh, how I've written a script for Ableton Live to kind of use it more to help me uh, loop various different instruments that I record. So basically I've got a room full of drums and, and guitars and what I like to do is, is record each of these things individually um, and then layer on another instrument on top and just kind of build up um, a song with each of the instruments kind of looping. Um, and out of the box uh, what I have this is configured to connect to Ableton Live and given that I spend a lot of time at work working on a MacBook the last thing I want to do when I'm making music is to have to play around with mice and keyboards and, and things so I try and control everything using the, uh, the mini here. So I've got a pretty long lead where I can it means I can carry this around the room with me. And normally, uh, when you plug this in with a stock setup, then it acts essentially as a clip launcher. So all of the clips that you might have, have pre-recorded in um, Ableton, um, you can sort of launch them individually. Um, it's kind of like a, more like a DJ sort of playback type thing. Um, but I'm, I'm more interested in recording, so um, and building up songs using this. So what I've done is to extend using Python um, the behavior of this thing. So we have a shift key down here um, and if I double tap that um, I bring up a kind of menu system which is uh, a sort of a custom configuration of the, of the lights and stuff that are on here uh, to act as a kind of menu and we can cycle left and right here through the top menu options so I can set how many bars I want to record what the BPM for the overall song is, whether the metronome's on or off, these kinds of things. So normally what I'm interested in first with a blank canvas is to set the BPM. So if I select that menu option and then hit the down arrow to go into that setting, um, then I can change the numbers here. So I can change um, the BPM that's being used, or I can even sort of tap to set a tempo um, if I'm just listening to music, perhaps I might want to set a tempo that way, or just whatever feels right. So, um, to come out of the menu, I just hit the back button, or the out button here, and that brings me back up to the top level menu. And then, once again, I'm back to more or less kind of normal mode. Um, and what I, what I then do, um, which is perhaps slightly different, is I can actually, using the shift and the third button up here, sorry, down here, I can set the uh, metronome going. So what I might start with is some drums or something like that. And the way that tends to work is um, I'll hit record on one of these columns to do all my drums here or, or bass on a different column. And when you hit the button on a blank cell, then what that will do is that will start the recording um, on the next bar. So if I hit that now, it starts flashing and it starts recording. So there we go, it's recording. It's going to record however many bars I set previously, so the default I've got is four bars. Um, and then it clicks around back to green, which means there's a clip there, and whatever I've just played is now um, playing back. Um, so that would be the drum track. And then I'll flip over and maybe pick up a bass, and while the drums are playing around, I might not actually need the, uh, the metronome anymore, so I can turn that out and just listen to the, uh, the drum track that I've just recorded, and again, just hit red button and it will drop in on the next bar and the chord bass uh, or whatever it is that I'm playing um, and then again sort of drop out uh, and that might be the beginnings of a, uh, a verse for example and I might do a similar thing to record um, a separate um, chorus chorus setting for example um, and then the usual function that's available um, in the default mode is when you hit these circular buttons on the right hand side that either plays row one or it might play row two so you can kind of flip between verse and chorus and that kind of thing. So a couple of the other functions that I've got going on um, if I mess something up then I've got an undo feature here so shift and then this second button here will automatically undo the last thing I did in this case that recording Plus I can also hit shift and then one of the pre-recorded slots here, if I hit shift on that, it will actually delete that particular clip. Um, and that gives me most of what I need uh, just to basically build up a song layer by layer. Uh, 